everyone with my sleeves. Sorry. <laughs> Phil was just in Tommy Bahama. Yeah, I was. I would love to buy a lot of the cool stuff in there, but I already have it, so it's kind of moist. Blessed. Even though we're just about to eat, I didn't have lunch and I'm so hungry. So I'm gonna get a couple chicken fingers at Chicken Guy because I loved it last time. perfect amount of what I needed so now we're gonna do some shopping gonna stop first off at Disney style These spirit jerseys are fun and bright. Look at the back, oh my goodness. Check out this DuckTales section. And they got a Huey, Dewey, and Louie purse. They even are like very cute. Now we're gonna go into Sosa Family Cigars and Phil is gonna get some cigars. to our reservation at the boathouse. Phil has his new sunglasses on. Let's see him. Hey, man. <laughs> I'm so happy I'm all about the Ray-Bans and Phil finally got a pair. They're the perfect transitional. He loves Oakley's. Now he's gone Ray-Band. <laughs> I still love Oakley. It's just Oakley hasn't put any new frames out or anything new in like years. I've got the Batwolf, I've got the turbine rotors, I've got all that stuff, but if you don't put something new out and I go to buy a new pair, I'm not gonna buy the same, a, a different version of the same pair. reason we came here. <laughs> They're a that's, big part. That's a lie. It's like 75% of the reason. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> First up, we got the pimento cheese dip. And it comes with some pickled vegetables. From the lemon and working around, I got to two of the Winanos, Moon Dancer, Bubamoto, Great White, Lucky Ducks, Hammerheads. Awesome. Phil got his beautiful wedge salad. So I got the scallop dish and it has a goat cheese polenta and corn. 
and we got some mac and cheese to share. And then Phil got the crab stuffed lobster. That looks awesome. And it has asparagus. So folks, we just finished up at the boathouse and everything was absolutely beyond reproach. Everything was just absolutely magnificent. Again, this is probably Probably the best restaurant on property, in my opinion. Something for everyone. If you like cheeseburgers, they've got literally two different award-winning cheeseburgers. For the chicken, they've got an award-winning pan-fried chicken and, a, and an award-winning roasted chicken. Um, the pimento cheese dip is fabulous. Everything's made in house. Um, again, I can't I can't stress enough that the, the shellfish was cooked perfectly. No stress or struggle to get all the meat out of the tail. I didn't even have to call the seafood fork. It just came right out. It peeled right out beautifully. Um, the crab, the crab, and red pepper and uh, cracker crumb mixture that was in the actual body of the of the lobster it was a beautiful, a beautiful combination. And it was a plentiful portion. I just can't say enough about it. For forty-eight dollars, come on. I mean, really, a full pound and a half lobster plus a chest cavity full of crab meat. It's a beautiful thing. Um, the macaroni and cheese is great, but it was overshadowed by everything else. So in retrospect, it's just kind of like, man, yeah. I had some of Pauline's food, and I felt that it was absolutely wonderful, but I'll let her give you her, her thoughts on it. But uh, again, the bread service is fantastic. The appetizers were fantastic. The oysters we had, um, we kind of gave the the uh, server discretion over what he got. He gave us a beautiful selection, a beautiful dozen oysters. The Sea of Cortez shrimp had a wonderful, unique flavor and texture to them. Um, I can't say enough about that. Seriously, if it fits in your budget or you can save up and make it a special occasion, you should come here. I had these scallops. They were cooked perfectly. Um, and then it came with a polenta, a goat cheese polenta. And that was really uh, the flavorful portion of the dish. It had some delicious bacon with it. And all around the dish was very good. It was definitely more fall flavors, uh, fall wintery flavors. So I definitely, I certainly enjoyed that. And to just add on what Phil said earlier, the oysters were so good, but the shrimp was amazing. I typically prefer shrimp to lobster. And the these were some of the best shrimp I ever had. They were nice and big uh, and just a unique flavor, but so, so good. I highly recommend coming to Boathouse and specifically trying the raw bar items. They are extremely fresh. So we're on a hunt for a little something sweet. So the ganachery it is. Um, actually, yes, that sounds really good. Passion fruit flavor. Absolutely. And it goes fantastic with red wine. Oh, nice. The, you want to do coconut, too? Yes, I do. Okay. How about the Italian hazelnut and milk chocolate? Um, sure. Are there other flavors over no, here? No, those going to be the same 16. Got it. Okay. So the, the John Dewey there is going to be really similar to Nutella with a much richer chocolate flavor. Gotcha. Oh, do you want to try that, Phil? Yeah. Perfect. I like how I told you get whatever you want. I picked out five on this year. And is there anything else I can get for you this evening? That is it. Fantastic. Bill and I got some chocolates to try. We'll probably maybe try them later when we're in the room at the hotel. Off the boat. 
boat and we went from, I don't know what it's called, the middle section to the east side. And now we're gonna go to the Christmas store. Technically we're at the marketplace. Yes, technically it's called the marketplace. You can see in the back, they're setting up for the tree trail. Days of Christmas, here we come. So I just found out these smell like peppermint. Can I just say, this is how Disney's really gonna get me candles. Well, just did some serious holiday damage. Now we're headed over to the co-op, which is another place where I tend to spend my money. Lies, pin time, also dangerous. I'm trying to block the glare for you guys, but these are all the hidden Mickey pins available in the parks right now. Next up, Hidden and Trendy. These little glitter crop tops are cute. Pepper. <laughs> little pepper pod. This one is very Zeus. It's rough, me and Jeff. <laughs> also, also here comes Trouble. Accurate as well. Next up, my absolute favorite, the Wonderground Gallery. This doodle one is not my style, but it's really cool. Love this one, but I don't see a postcard. So we were pretty good at the Wonderground Gallery and all of the co-op, but now into World of Disney. It is very Halloween-y in here. Disney Springs, and now we are at the Grand Floridian to check it out. There's a new bar we wanted to take a peek at, and they might be putting up the gingerbread house. No gingerbread house yet, but we're headed up to the second floor to check out the Enchanted Rose. came up to us and Phil and I were talking and we decided we both wanted to do a whip instead. The best part? <sighs> it smells so good. Just gonna go check out the boutique real quick. There was a dress at Lily that 
I saw at the boutique -y and kind of overlooked because it was purple, but it actually had mermaids on it. So it didn't have the size or style I wanted at Lily. So I'm gonna see what they have here at the boutique. -y. No go. It's okay though. We can maybe check the Glam Floridian tomorrow. Uh, we'll see. All right, PJ's on, back in the room. Got some premium Mickey bars, and we're gonna go to bed. Thank you so much for watching today. Uh, we hope that you subscribe to our channel, and make sure you hit that notification icon so you get the little bell every time we post something new. And I hope that you also comment below and tell us what you thought of the video. Peace, love, and quaharini.